Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another storage auction clean out. So I picked up a locker here for 10 bucks. Uh, this locker right here, my actually my key on it didn't work, but came with a couple locks. So that should be a, should be a fun adventure. It's uh, It looks like it was loaded with a lot of stuff. Surprisingly, considering it's so low, you'd think it probably isn't. Um, and I don't know if it's a 5x5 five five or a 5x10. I don't think they're... I don't know. I think these would be considered five foot width, maybe. All right, but anyway, uh, ten bucks for this locker. So we're going to go through it on this video, and we'll see what we find. Hopefully, find some treasure. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's make this a fun one. Let's see what we find. Let's do it. All right. So, moment of moment of uh, truth here. Oh, not actually. So it's my first time ever using one of these locks as well. I don't. I don't really like these circular ones. I had one of those square ones. They don't even have them anymore. It's so obsolete. Everyone has their circle ones. Look at that. Everyone has their circle ones. Uh, but it wasn't working right. So that was that. Here is our locker. So first impression. Clean. Stacked greatly. Uh... You can kind of see there is a base here. So this is probably a computer monitor or a television that they wrapped up. You have a bag here, which really doesn't look like there's... What, what shoes are these? These are fashionable. Yeah, so you have that. You got some boxes back there. Um, and this bad boy. This might even be one of those washer-dryer combos, which are very, very expensive. But we'll go through this. I'm going to try to, uh, I guess I'm going to rip out all this stuff, put on the carts, and we'll take them all, take them away. It's like a bunch of kids' toys. Oh yeah, television, flat screen, sharp television. of a moving blanket, free. I guess I want to move this one out, this is cardboard. This part really isn't that exciting. The fun part's going through the bin to see if there's anything good in them. might have ourselves a nice set of chairs here. Looks like four. So that's a really nice set. That's about, uh, oh, see we're missing one of these triangle things. So, you know what? I was gonna say, maybe it'd even look better without them because you can't sell with one missing. Uh, I'd say probably about 25, 35 bucks for the set of four. This one box or this one bag. Get some boots, you'll probably get a couple dollars for it. Doesn't look like a name brand. Baseball glove, a dollar. Sorted toys down there. You got a helmet, some baseballs, an all star game. You got a Ninja Turtle. It's probably whole bag five ten bucks so it broke even just with this it's always good all right kind of making space in here i'm going to try to take this guy out it looks like an absolute monster this is the old key previous tenant um generally speaking so this one they haven't paid since july generally speaking i know this company um waits about I'd say about four months before they put your stuff up for auction. So if you don't pay after four months past due, generally your things end up for auction. They become abandoned, essentially, uh, and then it goes up for, for sale. Now, if you guys are ever curious, I know I get a lot more views on the actual storage locker cleanout video. Make sure you guys subscribe down below and check out my other videos as well. I do post the video of the auction itself. So if you guys are ever curious why things go for certain prices or what other lockers go for, I do show the whole auction in its entirety. Well, not really. I show the whole auction in itself, so. 
So if you want to get your feet scrubbed a little. Um, that thing seems full. I really hope that's not closed. All right, I should be able to get this thing out. So if this thing works, I expect to get about 100 to 150 for it. This is something that a lot of people at these auctions usually go after is these appliances, uh, washer, dryers, refrigerators that are clean, uh, and they all have stores or somewhere to outsource it. So I'll probably end up selling it to one of them and then they could probably flip it as well. It's an LG Waveforce Inverter Direct Drive, True Balance Anti-Vibration System. I can't imagine this thing being very cheap. All right, a little bit more boxes than I actually thought. Uh, we'll see what's in this bin. It does have some weight. This is really, actually a really nice bin. Guessing, kids clothes, toys. Toys. Hmm. Decent flea market bin. Sorted toys. We got good old Woody here. He's missing his cowboy hat. Say Andy on the bottom? It does. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. I thought that might have been like Mighty Max or something. Got a Hesh truck. Looks like a bunch of toys. I won't bore you too much with this. Doesn't look like there's anything old in here either. But. There's probably at least 10 to 20 bucks in resale value there. Alrighty. What else we got here? This looks like a car. Sorry. Oh, a truck. Not a car. Bonked my head on that. That hurt. It looks like curious what's in that bag. Ooh. So these are actually worth some money. They're VHS DVD players. Very, very sought after, surprisingly. Literally, just to go with those, all a bunch of VHSs and DVDs. Stacks and stacks of them. So that's probably about another 20 bucks in there. All right, well, I'm hoping the rest of these boxes, there's three left. Also this bag. It's not just books or, I oh, got some schoolwork, beanie. One thing we haven't found is food, and I feel like we always find food in these stores' lockers. Hesh trucks. There's a bunch of them. There's three in here. Yankee baseball and some more toys.
DVDs, some cables, an umbrella. So moving right along. Got a nice vacuum cleaner here, Eureka. The old uh, Mighty Might. It's kind of it's kind of cool. Mysterious boxes we have. Oh, here we go. Oh, got some weight. Really hoping this ain't food. Feels like it's open. Uh, it's got some sort of weight to it. It's, it's not food. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's a bunch of notebooks. Very curious about what's in this box. up here these are actually really cool there's actually yeah these are kind of a newer edition the bottom one's really neat all right another backpack back here Let's see if there's anything special in here oh, this is just a light bulb Nothing really. Right. <laughs> Moving right along. Got a whole bin of kids' clothes. Not bad. All right, looks like we got one box. We got a suitcase or a smaller black bag on the floor. Wonder if this is going to be clothes. That's exactly what it is. Looks like adult clothes, female clothes. I'm going to have to go through all these compartments when I get home to make sure there's. I'm going to get some drugs in there. Found drugs, but those aren't actually drug drugs, those are just pharmaceutical drugs. I'm going to go through all that and check it out at home. Oh, this is the other piece for that chair. What's in the purse? What's in the purse? What's in the wallet? Nothing's in the wallet. Not even credit cards or anything. No money, nothing of importance. You have a couple other things in here. What is this? It's one of the electronic cigarettes, it looks like. Found money, found a dime. So nothing really. Nothing of important. Oh, we got a Nintendo DS. There you go. Oh, got a dollar. One dollar of a Nintendo DS. All right. Found money, found video games. Dorney Park Gold Pass. This might be uh that might be some gold there. Yeah, an iPhone charger. So I'll have that whole bag. 
This is probably one of those emergency bags that you kind of bring to the... There's a lot of amusement park stuff in there, so it's probably like you take it to the amusement park, has your sunscreen, has all that, has the game for the kid. But found video games, found some jewelries, most likely is gold. Oh, says something. It says Gale on one side, and then on the other side it says 18K. Is probably what that is. And you got some money. And a DS. Moving right along. Oh, this one has wheels on it. Oh. Look at that. More toys. Cross gear as well. You got some cross elbow pads. It's all Play Doh in there. Your other lacrosse elbow pad. Those are for roller blades. Alright, so it's all toys. And newer toys. Closing out the list here, we have one more box, it looks like. This is the paperwork that I kind of separate because I'm going to put that on last and just drop it off at the office. Maybe this is the gold jewelry. Maybe this is uh, the gold bars. It's probably clothes, food, books. I'm going to go close on this one. Maybe it's VHS's. goodness all boxed games and I open up from the wrong side of course. sorts of games all in box got some Ninja Turtle stuff pie face show got a mint in box M&M thing down there this one's still in there I can feel that you got a that's five bucks Minecraft might give that to uh, Orange Slices from the flea market. He likes Minecraft. He's getting back into that groove. There's a lot of stuff in there. Holy moly. Whatever this is. Dinosaur claws. Wow. Wow. What a way to end it. There's got to be about 30 to $50 in games there. Resale value. Used, flea market, Facebook, Craigslist, you name it. So this was an excellent locker. And this, this is one of the few lockers I've ever bought that have been really, really clean. You know, most of them, they're just dirty, dirty clothes everywhere. None of that here, which is really, really nice. Alrighty, everyone. <laughs> that was a great locker. Uh, very, very clean. Stuff was really good. Uh, lots of kids' toys, some clothes, but everything was really neatly packed. Uh, it was a blast. 
these videos are always fun to do. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. I do have a whole playlist on storage locker videos, so if you guys are interested in checking out other storage lockers just like this, I have a whole playlist. Check it down below. And if you guys want to see future videos of storage lockers, drop a comment below. Smack the like button for me. And if you definitely want to uh, stick around a little bit longer, subscribe for more treasure hunts just like this. I will be coming out with a couple more storage locker videos in the next couple days. I do have a couple lined up that I have to go back and clean out. So that'll be a blast. We'll see what we get out of those lockers. Subscribe down below to check them out. And I'll catch up with you guys with the next adventure. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.